When people think of scary plants or ask about scary plants, they always think of the, the Venus flytrap. They'll even do the trapping with their hands. You know, what is that plant called? We have different categories of plants we're displaying in the, in the show house for the display. Bizarre botanicals, vicious plants, and carnivorous plants. So this one here is called Judith Hindle. It's actually a hybrid, um, a cross between a couple different uh, trumpet plants. Um, but it's a carnivorous plant, and what it does is it has nectar along the lip of the, the uh, trumpet here, and that lures the insects in, and it actually kind of paralyzes them. So this is the sensitive plant, and as you can see when you touch it, it will react and move to the touch. Scientists believe it does this to keep predators um, away from it. This is the straw-colored hedgehog, and as you can see, it is a very vicious plant, spines to keep predators away from it in the harsh conditions in the desert. Anything that, that's vicious we think of as spiny or potentially poisonous. We've got the uh, prickly pear in the back here with the long spines. And this is the porcupine tomato. The sap on it, um, if you break the leaves, it's poisonous. Plants are alive and they can move and they interact with their environment. And um, it kind of gives people a whole new perspective of what plants can be and what the plant world is really like.